Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. My name is Dima Al Gamal. I am a member of the Muslim Unity Center Interfaith Committee and a formal board member. The Muslim Unity Center was founded in the early 90s, and uh, there's about 300 families uh, who are members of the Muslim Unity Center. Muslim Unity Center is home away from home to a lot of community members. Maria is going to be our guest today. We invite her through multiple sessions to uh, explore our values and our tradition, the Muslim uh, faith traditions. She will learn about the fundamentals and origin of Islam. She will also learn about the contributions of Islam to civilization, as well as the role of women in Islam and much more. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Welcome to the Unity Center. My name is Dima Al Gamal. I'm an interfaith committee member. Welcome to the journey. Let's start. This is Patrick and Arif. Hi. Hi, Assalamu alaikum, Maria. Nice to meet you. What are the fundamentals of Islam? Uh, the fundamentals of Islam. Well, you know, Islam is built upon five pillars, the first of which is called the testification of faith, the Shahada. And it basically it states that you believe that there is no God worthy of worship except God, one God, and that the Prophet Muhammad is his messenger. Is Islam a new religion? Muslims believe that from the time of Adam and Eve all the way up to the present and cont uh, continuing through a line of prophets and revealed scriptures that Islam came as a completion of that chain of revelation. Who are Muslims? Muslims represent every race and nationality across the world. Did you know that not all Muslims are Arabs? Only 15% of the world's Muslims are Arabs. Here at the Unity Center, you'll find people with origins in the Arab world, from East Asia, from Africa, um, all over the world. Pam, what are you doing? Uh, we're just uh, setting up decorations for Eid. What's Eid? Eid is the Arabic translation for a holiday, and Muslims celebrate two holidays, Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. How do Muslims celebrate Eid? They celebrate Eid by gathering at the local mosque for special congregational prayers and services. They give charity to those that are in need, and they also gather with family and friends and celebrate with good food, fun, new clothes, and plenty of gifts. What do you say to a Muslim during Eid? We say Eid Mubarak, which means a blessed holiday during both Eids. How many times do Muslims pray each day? Muslims pray five times each day. When you see a Muslim pray, you will most likely see them going through different motions. You'll see them standing up. You'll see them bowing down. You'll see them then prostrating. This is the greatest way of showing one's submission to God. Do Muslims only pray, pray in the mosque? So for a Muslim, he or she are able to pray anywhere, any place. The moment the time comes in for prayer, they are asked to pray. This is why some students prefer to uh, pray in a quiet place in school. Do men and women pray in the same place in the mosque? The answer is that women are given the option. In the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, women and men prayed in the same prayer hall. So it is permissible Islamically for men and women to pray in the same prayer hall. Can you tell me about what Islam has contributed to civilization? That's a brilliant question. As you can see from these 1001 invention posters, that the Muslims contributed to schools, hospitals, the universe, and the Muslim civilization. And this ran from the 8th century all the way to the 16th century. And this was uh, titled the Golden Age for the Muslims. Can you explain to me why you're covering your head? Sure, that's a question I get asked often. Islam teaches modesty for both men and women. The Islamic dress code for women is referred to as hijab. So once a Muslim girl reaches the age of puberty, she will cover her body with loose clothing, um, only showing her hands and her face. And hijab looks different in different parts of the world because it's influenced by culture. And you'll see some of the moms and the daughters outside. Um, some of them are wearing hijab, some of them aren't. And there might be a little, some subtle differences in the way that they choose to wear hijab. What is a woman's role in Islam? 
So Islam teaches respect for women regardless of what their role is as mothers, daughters, wives. The Quran has many verses and through the prophetic teachings that emphasize respect for women and teaches equality of men and women in their deeds and their spirituality. Does Islam support arranged marriage? No, not at all. In Islam, for a marriage to be valid, both the bride and the groom have to give their consent to the marriage, otherwise it's not valid. Thanks for a answering my questions about women in Islam. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for asking. Thank you for coming today, Maria, and for visiting the Muslim Unity Center and learning about your Muslim friends and, uh, and neighbors. And hopefully you can come again and bring your friends and your family. Thank you for showing me around. My pleasure. Come again. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.